With Wolverine already confirmed to be featured with our favorite R-rated anti-hero, Deadpool 3 is supposed to be the first of the trilogy to take place in the MCU. Yes, that means we'll get more than just little old Colossus. Director Sean Levi officially announced that signing the contract with Disney included keeping the franchise's R rating, which will be even more violent this time. Here's everything we can expect. First off, how R-rated are we talking about? The Deadpool franchise is notorious for its violence and chaos, which is used as a joke by Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. But that was before Disney acquired the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Deadpool 3 will be the anti-hero's debut under the Disney banner. Levi claims that Disney offered production assistance and was happy to let Deadpool be Deadpool. This is also Wolverine's first appearance in a Deadpool film, reuniting the two stars in their Marvel roles after we last saw them in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Since Logan is just as vulgar as Deadpool, if not more, we're excited to see him in Deadpool 3. Despite the fact that Jackman retired from the role after Logan, they'll be back on the big screen with the other immortal superhero. And bringing these two together can only mean one thing, there's probably going to be a lot more violence than the last movie. Let's talk about what the director thinks. Based on what we know, the development of a Deadpool film has been among Levi's most enjoyable creative projects because it's more than just an R-rated movie for him. To be fair, the franchise is loaded with self-awareness, which is different from anything we've seen on the big screen. And with an awesome actor like Ryan Reynolds, it's unique in a way that makes the whole creative process fun. Not to mention, Levi's statements reinforce that Deadpool 3 will be R-rated, which will probably satisfy those of you who were concerned that Disney might go the safer PG-13 route. Rit Reese and Paul Wernick, the writers of Deadpool 3, promised fans in June that the Merc with a Mouth wouldn't be Disney-fied, adding that they have the studio's full backing to let Deadpool do his thing. Let's be real though, it's not like they'll single out a joke and say it's too far because that's what the Deadpool character is all about, but you never know, things might change. Now for Hugh Jackman coming back from retirement. In addition to Ryan Reynolds, who Levi previously worked with on The Adam Project and Free Guy, Levi also reunites with Hugh Jackman, who played the lead role in Real Steel. Levi stated that working with the two actors on a single film had always been his goal on his journey to becoming the director in March. Despite his refusal to reveal where or how Levi expressed his gratitude for being the director who cast these two incredible actors in the same film. In October, Jackman disclosed that Reynolds' proposal to Marvel Studios CEO Kevin Feige included his Wolverine comeback. Jackman also said that the Wolverine in Deadpool 3 will be angrier and grumpier than in all the movies Wolverine has appeared in before. Not only that, but according to rumors, Owen Wilson's Mobius, who made his Marvel Cinematic Universe debut in Disney's Loki, would join Reynolds and Jackman. Besides that, Reynolds has said he would love it if Taylor Swift could make a cameo in the movie, while Daredevil's Charlie Cox has shown interest in seeing the man without fear go up against the Merc with a mouth. Next up, when his production experience expected to start, as the Merc with a Mouth gradually works his way into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Recent news concerning the sequel's status has been promising. Hugh Jackman's return as Wolverine was the most unexpected surprise, although there was no extra info given surrounding what the news may have to do with Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. Deadpool 3 is reportedly back on schedule to deliver the highly anticipated collaboration between Deadpool and Wolverine, despite a hiccup that pushed the movie's release date to November 8, 2024. Deadpool 3 will officially begin filming in May, according to Levi, who also confirmed that this is the planned time frame, which means it could change. Deadpool 3 will start production in May, which is a year and a half before the film's scheduled release. Levi explained that the unusually early start was due to the time needed for post-production to refine the visual effects of the CGI-heavy film. Levi continued by saying that the amount of CGI in a film determines how much time is required for post-production. And considering the fact that this is the first Deadpool film to be released in the MCU, there will be plenty of special effects. Coming up, could Deadpool Deadpool 3 be the best one yet? According to the director, Deadpool 3 will retain elements from the first two films that have been associated with the superhero franchise, including the raw tone and bloodshed. Even the plot of Deadpool 3 might have already been disclosed. More on this later. The next sequel, according to Levi, will be grounded like its predecessors, but the Deadpool world has expanded since the first movie, with Deadpool 2 introducing legendary Deadpool comic book companions like Domino and Cable. As Wolverine joins the roster of superheroes alongside the title character in Deadpool 3, the trend will probably continue. Even just the fact that the movie is set in the MCU changes everything for Deadpool. Unfortunately, there are still doubts about how Wolverine will fit in Deadpool 3, considering that Jackman originally stepped down as the Claude Mutant in 2017's Logan. Since X-Men Origins Wolverine, which received negative reviews, was the first and only time the two characters have ever met in a live-action film, Deadpool 3 is ready to rebuild the on-screen chemistry between Deadpool and Wolverine. Let's talk about Deadpool 3's plot. 
As far as we know, what happened in Logan won't be altered in the Deadpool sequel, because Jackman and Reynolds have clarified that in their Wolverine announcement. This suggests that Wolverine in Deadpool 3 may be a variant, similar to how Charles Xavier was in Doctor Strange 2. Although one theory claims that the TVA may be involved, Deadpool 3 still has to explain how Deadpool makes his entry into the MCU. Reynolds tweeted in January 2021 that Fox's initial vision for Deadpool 3 included a road trip between Logan and Deadpool. While Marvel Studios initially wanted writers Wendy Molly No and Lizzie Molly No Lodgelin, from Bob's Burgers to write a new script, Reese and Wernick were soon invited back onto the project. Needless to say, the road trip plot may have been confirmed with the confirmation of Jackman's comeback in Deadpool 3 and the return of the original writers to the project. But would that be a good idea? Well, whatever Deadpool 3's plot is, one thing's for sure, we'll definitely have lots of humor and amazing buddy cop moments since the two will finally be sharing the screen in full force rather than having their lips taped shut as in X-Men Origins Wolverine. For all we know, Logan and Wade may be taking the concept of a road trip to its natural conclusion by jumping from one reality to another inside the multiverse until they finally land in the MCU's 616 universe. Speaking of which, Deadpool 3 might set up Secret Wars. Assuming that Deadpool 3 will follow a multiversal plot, it might offer answers to the questions raised in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and serve as a precursor to Avengers Secret Wars, the closing installment of Phase 6. There are many concerns about how the anti-hero would fit into the MCU, but Phase 4 provided the solution with the introduction of the multiverse, which might reference the hilarious end credit scenes from Deadpool 2 to do so. Cable, who is Deadpool's time-traveling buddy introduced in Deadpool 2, utilizes a tool that eventually allowed him to save Wade's life. But in Deadpool's hands, this technology helped Wade go back in time and undo some things, including his fiancé's death, killing Deadpool from X-Men Origins Wolverine, eliminating Ryan Reynolds so he can't play the Green Lantern, and plotting Hitler's assassination. Not to mention, Wade's time travel could cause incursions. Time travel restrictions established in Avengers Endgame and Multiverse of Madness hint that Deadpool's interference in the time stream might trigger an incursion, which might be important for his MCU debut. If the time travel theory behind Avengers Endgame is still in effect for the old Fox reality. Then, Deadpool's time jumps at the end of Deadpool 2 didn't truly change the chronology, but instead developed new branching realities that may eventually result in incursions. Deadpool undoubtedly committed considerable harm to the chronology during this montage, which may be more serious in Deadpool 3. Ryan Reynolds' murder before the publication of Green Lantern would undoubtedly have a big impact on the planet. Wade Wilson and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine will have to cross the multiverse to go to the MCU, so something has to happen to make them have to leave their reality. If the time travel theory behind Avengers Endgame is still in effect for the old Fox reality, then Deadpool's time jumps at the end of Deadpool 2 didn't truly change the chronology, but developed new branching realities that may eventually result in incursions. Let's be real for a second though, if Ryan Reynolds were killed before Green Lantern was released, the universe probably would have been better off. Either way, Deadpool may have seriously harmed the chronology to a point that may be more crucial in Deadpool 3. That montage can only mean that Wade Wilson and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine will have to cross the multiverse to go to the MCU, making them leave their reality. Finally, the road trip plot could give the Fox universe a happy ending. Recent installments of Fox's X-Men film series, more particularly X-Men Dark Phoenix and 2015's Fantastic Four, have been among the most controversial superhero movies of the modern era. Deadpool Deadpool 3's MCU plot may finally offer us an acceptable conclusion to a franchise that had grown much too complicated and complex, mostly because of its timeline corrections and reckons. The ideal way to get rid of the old Fox world and start over with new faces for these well-known characters would be if Wade Wilson's time jumping at the conclusion of Deadpool 2 did in fact trigger incursions. But what theories do you have? Which route could the MCU take for Deadpool? Let us know down below. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content content just like this.